Hey guys, Eric here out at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, we have the best takeaway drill you've ever seen on YouTube. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but first, a quick word from today's video sponsor. I wanna to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to core the differences between your feels and your reels. Live View is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. Okay, Mr. Dennis Sales, back for another one. Appreciate you being here. Hey man, it's a lot of fun here. Dennis, if you haven't seen our uh, last video with Dennis, Dennis and I coached together on CogornoGolf.com for the past couple of years. Love watching Dennis's feedback on there. To me, he's one of the best golf coaches in the world, both online, in person. Dennis is in Argyle, Texas. Argyle, Texas. Yes, Somewhere sir. near Fort Worth, Dallas. Dallas, area. Fort Worth Metroplex, a okay. little north of the Dallas Fort Worth Airport. Big state Texas is. Yes, if you're yes. in that area, Dennis has a gear system, has an awesome indoor facility. If you're interested in some in person coaching, highly, highly recommend it. Um, we're going to talk today about what we're saying, we're yeah. telling the people is the best takeaway drill slash video on YouTube. Now we looked before we did this video and I think we have like 10 takeaway videos, so we have quite a few. <laughs> um, but in today's video, we're going to do uh, what is really like the OG drill from our channel. And like we were talking about maybe potentially one that I saw from you originally yeah. on YouTube or Instagram like nine or 10 years right. ago. Yeah, yeah. That's to be determined. I have to go back and look. You have at that to go back bit. and look, right? But there's one little aid we're gonna use. Simple. And that's a, a T. And we're gonna work you guys through this. And I really do think, like YouTube clickbait stuff aside, if there's like one takeaway backswing drill we could use that's the easiest that everyone has something with yeah. them, this, this really is it. And so Dennis, if you would guide us through here kind of how this um, thing works. I know I'm starting with this, this deal in the edge of the grip, right? Yep. So if I take this T and put this on the end, and for this to work right, I do need some action here right like yeah, I really so want the tip. you'd want a little longer tee and, okay. and generally speaking uh, I would use probably a more of a plastic tee less likely to kind of break sometimes and maybe even a bigger than this one a little bit bigger okay. yeah 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 but even if I have this normal I just have like You're a normal still fine size. yeah yeah it'll still work just it's just going to be an exaggerated component to it which is okay so when I take my setup then Dennis I've got this tee in yeah and we can see from the down the line camera when I take my setup position and my arms hang mm -hmm. more or less straight down, yes. maybe over my toes, right? So when I do that and I put this in the butt of the club, yes. I've got a little bit of distance between the T and me. Yes. Right, through a rhyme in there for you. So my right thigh and the T has a little bit of space. Yes. Uh, true or false, during the backswing takeaway, the swings we see, the like main hmm. culprit issue would be that the hands get too far away. Yes. And as my hands get too far away, generally, we would see a shaft that gets too far inside. Yeah. That'd be like the main thing, mm -hmm. right? And so, in an effort to solve that big problem, how does this T work? Well, again, so we gotta look at hand path, okay? We gotta understand that it would be, the hands would be traveling on a circle, on an inclined plane, that if we had a, a hoop around you here, that the hands, to describe it, would be moving back, in, and then up. So because of that, that would keep the T gapping close. So if we're looking at the circle, like I said again, on the ground here, the club would be moving back in and up. Yep. Right? That would make the swing the most easiest for us to replicate with the least amount of compensations. By moving the hands away, you've now created an issue tracing the circle that would be etched on the ground. Now I have, I have to, to run something. a series of other compensations to get it back on the plane. And yeah. again, we're talking about building a model, the simplest model possible sure. for us to replicate without having to practice thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. Make to it try as to create that. Possible. Yeah, try to make it <laughs> easy as possible. You might feel uncomfortable at the beginning, but that would be okay. Yep. By working this, it would become more and more comfortable 
and then it would be less compensations being put on top of it. You think of like Domino's. Once you get that thing going, you, it goes. And so I want to get the takeaway in a good position to make the rest easier. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the hand path, like if we looked at the camera, and we'll throw some gears, yeah. some images on here. If we look at this hand path early, and we kind of drew a line on that, that hand path, again, as a neutral model, we want to stay more or less in the line it starts. It's slowly going to work in and up. In and up, yeah. Right. And so the T that's in here, mm -hmm. maybe that's an inch or so. Yeah. If I go too far out, um, and there's always a, a, a cause and effect piece here. So my yep. hands go out, the mm -hmm. shoulder and arm rotation club yep. goes in. Um, and then all that arm supination, pronation, all that stuff gets all out of whack. Yeah. A lot of reaction that way on the way yep. down. Newton's still low motion. But with the T then, to avoid that, yes. you can see when I do it the bad way, a couple of things happen. I'd say two things mainly to look at on camera. One is the T gets much farther from me. Yes. And two is the T starts to point towards the ball into right field, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Dennis, if I did it the right way, yes. and as an exaggeration maybe yeah. for the drill. Yeah, spectrum. I would do, I almost even brush myself. Yes. I would say you definitely want to brush yourself. Brush myself with the T. Yeah. And as I'm doing that, notice the T stays pointed towards me. Yeah, and again, if you kind of think of like running a line up the shaft in terms of the shaft plane, yep. right? The shaft would kind of stay on the plane. You can see the face is kind of pointing down, and then the shaft would be kind of outside the hands at that point, right? Yeah. Which would then be kind of tracing almost the uh, the elbow plane going up to the shoulder plane, which so helps I'm, keep the club outside the hands. I'm early. going, hands are kind of arcing slightly in. Yep. The T's pointing towards me, hitting my leg. Yes. From my point of view, this club head actually traces just on the inside part here of that ball target line. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Toes down. And then you said, now we're going to start to work up the elbow plane. Yes. To the point where from there to the top then, for the backswing part of this, an easy version that you said in the video I originally saw was, hey, let's just get that T pointed towards the ball target line. Then, yeah. To keep that thing on plane on the top. Yeah. So the 101 version is hit myself in the leg early. Early. With the club head kind of on the ball target line. And then I would just say kind of T down. T Here's down, the hinging down. pieces. And folding the, pieces of the right arm a little bit nicer. And and for a simple, I'm gonna hit with that one, yep. Dennis. For a simple starting point, that could be as that could be it. Those two points. Yeah. And then again, I would do this in kind of phases where I might just stop there first, stop there, and then hit it. And then go. So just break it down and then as you get better and better at it. Yeah. And then as you got better and better at it, then I would blend things better. So I'd, you could do this as like a, a three-phase drill where I would brush, get it to kind of three, yeah. and then hit it, right? And so then, when I go when I go here, I'm going brush, like one, stop, and then, and then hit and one then from go. there. Okay, yeah. got it. So I'm brushing my leg with the tee towards me, yeah. pointing it at the ball target line, yeah. and then I'm hitting. Yeah. And in the beginning, not to toot my own horn, those are nice little shots, yes, but it doesn't were. matter no. if you hit them perfect no, right away. No, because we'd be wanting to see what the form would look like. And as long as that piece would look good, right, then what I would do is I would remove the second checkpoint. I would just go from there up and hit it. Okay. And then, it. The, then, I, then I'd keep moving through these faces where I wouldn't have any checkpoints. So it's like phase one is maybe pause, pause, hit. Yeah. Phase two would be like keep the first pause, remove the second. Yep. And then phase three is take the pauses out. Yeah. Got it. So and then as you're always checking one. the form pieces of it. And I'm just tweaking based on what I'm seeing and how much I need to feel or exaggerate. Yeah. Yes. So we could say like phase one would be pause, pause, hit it. Phase two would be pause, hit it. Phase three would be just hit it. Even yeah. phase I love three. Your coming out there. With hey, you like that, huh? I haven't lost that. <laughs> there's, no, there's no Texan accent They're like, in that what is yet. he saying in there? <laughs> pause, yeah. And then to your point, and then take them out. And then I would do like sets. Yeah, okay. More sets early of the check, check, and less at the yeah. end of just hitting it. And for those that do this, right, just to clarify, yeah, because there's always feels and reels. Mm -hmm. If you're a player who goes out this way, yeah, to get the tee to hit your leg and get the club head out needs to feel freaking wild. Yeah. Like it needs to feel like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. my hands are way in and that club head is like wildly out. And this is where the piece we harp on so much is so important is that like when I work on my swing and I feel that, mm -hmm. 
and maybe it feels exaggerated, it doesn't matter to me, frankly, what you would say or what a coach says, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I need to see it. Yeah. And as soon as I see it on video and I see, oh, wow, that looks normal, I'm like immediately yeah. okay with the exaggeration. Yeah. But I think if you remove that part and it's just a feel thing yeah. and you don't know, you're going to think it's too, it's more exaggerated than it really is. Yeah. Because it really right? is. Because <laughs> it really is. But in the actual swing feeling of things, wise. yeah, the feeling wise, but in the actual swing of it, it is not. It'll look how it should, normal. Yeah, as long as you start to do it right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the in time, in. Let's, say, let's, let's say it like that. Yeah, in time. Yeah, exactly. Like if we're working on this in the swing and I want to get my takeaway and back swing correct. I, I would mean, spend way more time in like phase one and phase two, very yeah, little time in phase three. Just tight little draws in there. You just need one tracer though, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It'd just be one. Tight little foot draw. So, okay. We want the hand path to arc slightly in as we go. Yep, the tee's in. towards me. Yep. And then we're getting the butt of the club on, on or just inside, we'll say, when the left arm's parallel. You can like go, a good check point. Yeah. Rough cool. estimate. A little yeah, rough yeah. estimate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to do one more. I would definitely say that anywhere right around there, give or take a little, like a grip length, you'd be in a great spot. And if you're practicing, you put the T in. I, I would want to see, if you're in the early phases, like the T brushing the leg. It, yes. It has to brush the leg. And how easy, and this is why um, Danielle's title idea of, this working in being the best drill, I think is true because literally everyone can take a tee out and do this and try this. Mm -hmm. And like, if we could get every golfer on the planet to have the problem that they go too far in with the club head slightly out and like too perfect at the top. Like if we overdid those things as a whole, yeah. we'd be in a good spot. You know something, so there's a good one, right? Have you ever seen that? Uh, how many, I, how I, many I, of that? What, what, how many people have come to you with that problem versus the one that is, Hinge way out. 99.9% .9 too far yeah, the other way. Exactly. 99.9%. Yeah, .9%. That's true. Well said, Dennis. So I like that. I want to keep that at that simple version because I yeah. think that's really, really um, awesome. I think maybe this is like our second biggest YouTube video ever, the original one. I yeah. think maybe I stole it from Dennis. So thank you for <laughs> no uh, problem. original No problem for the video. idea, right? <laughs> uh, if you want to check out Dennis, the gears that you're seeing on here, Dennis has that gears 3D system. There's not a ton of them. It's really, really, really awesome. You can go see him and book in person. We'll put Dennis's info down description down below. You want to check out GorgonoGolf.com, work with Dennis and I and the coaches online. We'll put that on. We'll also put another one of our 100 takeaway videos <laughs> on the screen. You can watch that. Thanks, buddy. Hey, man. Thank, thank you. you.